Hey guys, this is Justin at Core Graphics, and it has been a while since I made a last tutorial video. Uh, so let's change that. I guess you can say this is kind of a tutorial, something around those lines. I'm really just going to be showing you guys how to model some really cool uh, sci-fi type of models using a plugin called Griebler and also just some regular basic modeling techniques. So let's go ahead and uh, get into that. I'm going to, and you're going to see guys that I'm going to start with something extremely basic and then it's going to look something that's highly detailed. So I guess I'll start with a tube and just kind of make a ring out of it. Since apparently I see a lot of motion graphics videos using a ring of some sort. And let me just uh, work with its orientation. Uh, I guess that really doesn't matter. Yeah, that's what we're looking for, something like that. And I'll just increase the rotation segments so that way we get something that's nice and smooth around the edges so I'll make that 60 uh, let's see. I'll keep it pretty thick something like that would be fine yeah let's go ahead and Customize it by pressing C. Now we want to select the faces of it. Uh, UL for ring selection, well, loop selection. And I'm just going to go ahead and do some inner extrusions. And then I'm going to take preserve groups off. Well, hold up. Let me uh, turn that back on, and extrude, and then I'll select that again, extrude enter, take that off, and just do that. Now I'm going to go ahead and texture as I go. And I'll just modify the textures to how I want it to be later. So I'm going to go ahead, apply that texture. And uh, I guess I'll just extrude inward. So we got something like that going on. That looks pretty good. I like it. And I guess I'll kind of do the same thing for up here. Do an inner extrude, well, extrude enter. Select that again. Extrude enter. Take off preserve groups. And this time I'm not going to go as wide or as much as I did and I'll bring well first I'm going to go ahead and apply a texture to it and then just extrude in so right now we got something that's looking pretty basic if I render it out it's nothing spectacular start working with the face of our model. Extrude enter, preserve groups, have that checked. That's going in. I'm probably going to do something a little bit different with the outside. Let's see how it look if I extrude. Okay. I 
I do this sparingly. It doesn't look too bad. And how about these? I'll just do what I've typically been doing. Take off preserved groups. It's gonna bring those in. Uh, I'm gonna texture that. So apply, extrude, bring it in. Actually, what I think I'm going to do is, I think I'll just remove the texture from these right here. Uh, sure, why not? Let's go with that. Well, actually, something better. Uh, deselect. Click on this triangle, select polygons. What that does is the polygons that you had that texture applied to, it selects only those polygons. Really helpful in case if you have to go back and change your textures with something. So now that I have that selected, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, go to select, invert, and I'll just apply that white texture. Like I said, gonna come back, change that later. But there's something I'm gonna do with the lighting of this model. And this is before I apply Griebler, so I want to get something that looks pretty standard. And then after I apply Griebler, you'll really see the effect come to life. So now basically I'm just rinsing and repeating what I've been doing. Extrude. Just dry that in slightly. Apply the texture. And I'm still gonna have to go back and adjust the texture to everything, but right now I'm not really worried about it too much. Let's see, UL, well, I'll go ahead and select these. Because no part of this model will go untouched. So groups on. And I'll just go ahead and uh, well first let me texture it, apply, and then I'll bevel. That way we got a really nice effect going on. And like I said, this isn't anything special. I'm just rinsing and repeating a lot of the steps that I've done so far. Okay, these are looking pretty good. I can do something with these right here. Let's see, those are already in, so I guess I'll just, once again, do an extrusion. Um, yeah, I think that should be fine. Something like that. Extrude inner, take off preserve groups, and then extrude again. 
Some really nice extrusions going on in there. And I'll go ahead, texture that. So, so far we got a really uh, nice looking wheel right here. As for the textures, I'm probably just going to have this whole model, two textures, and that's probably going to be it. Now, granted, if I really wanted to, I could go in there and get, like, some really small details, but, eh, I'm really just showing you guys exactly the skeleton, skeleton, uh, that's not what I was thinking of. I guess the uh, bare bones of how to make really good uh, sci-fi type models with minimum effort being applied. No, instead of two textures, I'll make it three textures. So let's see, those are looking good. I'm pretty much looking for all the gray areas except for this. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, adjust the texture so that way that's just one texture. But all these little rings right here, I'm just going to go ahead and touch those up. Add another texture to it. Alrighty, so that's looking pretty good. Let's over to the flip side. Grab these right here and grab that. All right, it's looking pretty good. Create new material, and I want that one to primarily be a reflection. I'll blur it a bit. Uh, add some speckler. Uh, the speckler that you just seen me put on there, that's one that I custom made myself. So when you go in there and you try to look for it, then you're probably not going to see it. Like you can play around with the Loomis and to do that, you just click that arrow and uh, go to effects and then Loomis. And that kind of gives you that metallic uh, specular. So go for something like that. It has nice reflection on it. And I'll apply that texture. Okay, so I'm going to click on all of these. Select polygons. And I'm going to do uh, select, invert. And now I just got all the polygons that I have not textured, if I did everything accurately. And I'll go ahead and convert it to that one right there. So now this whole thing is textured. I'm about to go ahead and change the color of this. Something like that because everything looks cool on black. Everything does. Don't question my logic. But don't use it as a dogma either. Alright, let's see. Uh, Frenzel. Or for now, what, what, however you pronounce that, I honestly have no idea. Uh, do I really want speckler on that? Uh, I guess I'll have speckler. I'll just turn it down. 
something like that and always got to give it some blurriness all right so this is our basic model i haven't applied anything to it so it does look rather crappy but now we're going to go ahead and go to plugins and we are going to go to Griebler, Griebler, drag and drop. And now you're probably saying, what on earth did Griebler just do? Griebler just extruded the mass out of our uh, model to give us this really nice sci-fi looking thing. But now the next thing you're wondering is, okay, did I really just do all that texturing for nothing? Well, Griebler has a little thing where you can check it and it says use input selection slash textures and all is not lost because you just got your information back. Now you're probably also wondering what are these little things that are on the model? Those are called the Griebles. And the greebles are basically just little small shapes that add on to your model. And you can control them by going to stock greebles, go to settings, and then you can adjust the minimum and maximum height of them. However you like. I would probably generally do something around like that. Probably because of, uh, I've seen one of Project 4D's intros that he made, and it looked like he used Griebler, but he did some modifications to the Griebles. I, I mean, that's just what I'm guessing. I'm not sure if he used that or not. I'll link his uh, video in the description. And also, as for the extrusions, go to base, and then you can control that as well as to how you want it to look. And a really cool asset to that is it animates. So I think that would be pretty awesome. Because you can show the extrusions animating either it being lower or higher. And if you don't want the greeblers, well the greebles, just unclick. And now you just got your extruded model so that's without Griebler and that's with Griebler we render that that looks pretty awesome uh, if you want to uh, work with the Griebles like for example if you want to texture them then I would highly recommend Control, click, drag, and then just hide that completely. Like go to layers, layer, drag that in, and then just hit this little button. Gets rid of it out of there. But yeah, uh, you would uh, click on the Griebler and you would hit C to customize it. And now you have your tube, your base, which is basically the Griebler itself, and then you have the little Griebles right there. And you can make, all these are like one model itself. I would not recommend trying to texture them individually because you're going to uh, have a massive headache trying to do that. But generally what I would do is I would just apply the same texture as I did to the base, like that. Or if you want, you could do something like that. Completely up to you. It actually looks better like that. I like it. But now as for this, I need to change it up. Uh, luminance. Look at that, it's looking really awesome already. And 
I think I'm gonna go with a blue. Something of that nature. And brightness, I love to kick this up probably to like 300. No joke. So now we got something like that. That's pretty amazing looking. Now it's time for our render settings, like always. Ambient occlusion, glow illumination. Adjust that to IR plus QMC, still image. And then just for the sake of render time, turn that to low. And uh, let's see what we got. Alright, that's not looking too bad whatsoever. Still do a little couple things so that way we can really bring out its potential. Let's go ahead and uh, add an HDRI map in which I'm going to use uh, Grayscale Gorilla's Light Kit Pro. Uh, nah. And I'll color, click with that arrow, copy channel. Luminance paste channel. After that, add a sky. And then go ahead and tag it. Positing, uncheck scene by camera. Now let's really take a look at it. Not bad looking. I could probably go back and uh, change the texture on this because I don't know, the reflection on it just kind of wasn't sitting well with me for whatever reason. So I'll probably make that. Uh, decisions, decisions. And I'll probably tone that down as well. Let's see how. Let's see texture. No. In fact, I think I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get rid of the specular. Let's change that to 100. Let's see what it looks like with the uh, stock cleavers black. I don't know about you guys, but that looks sexy. That's just beautiful right there. And this looks like it took hours on end to do this, but we actually did this in just a matter of minutes. And even at that, I was highly slacking off with making this model. But we went from something now if I turn that back on. We went from this, which just looks like a ring, pretty boring, to something like that. Within a click of a button and also 
just some adjustment settings. So I do highly, highly recommend this program, well, this plugin for making sci-fi models. Or if you can find a way to use it and not for it to be sci-fi, then feel free, go for it. And uh, if you do find a way, show me the model that you made because I would definitely love to get some inspiration from you guys. Yeah, I'm really liking this right here. Right here. <laughs> uh, you can actually make something really nice with this. So I think what I will do for you guys is I will leave this project in the description. I know that in my next project that I'm going to release to you guys, it's going to be something with Griebler, and more than likely it's probably going to be a top five. It'll probably be something like this, more than likely. I still got to figure out exactly what I'm going to do, but that's probably a couple weeks before I actually start that project. But yeah, this is some really nice modeling that you can do for pretty much just a couple of minutes of your time. Just a matter of doing some extrusions. And then right after that, apply Griebler and pretty much just enjoy what you make. I've used this plenty of times. I actually just used Griebler in the last intro I made. And you see how that turned out. I really liked it. My client liked it. Other people liked it. Hey, everyone likes this uh, plugin, right? I mean, look at that. Look at this right here. That's just amazing. If you ever had a client that wanted something like this, Griebler is the go-to plugin. So I highly do recommend this plugin. Be sure to use it. I've been Justin on Core Graphics. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.